am a big movie lover, especially the ones based on true stories. I think movies based on true stories are great ways to share someone's story, but they are also a great way to scare the living daylights out of you, especially the ones where you are trapped underground for hours with no way out. So today we are talking about the top 10 scariest movies based on a true story. I am your host Michaela, so let's get started. Starting off this countdown at number 10, The Impossible. This movie opens up with saying, on December 26, 2004, the deadliest tsunami on record hit the southeast coast of Asia. The Impossible tells a true story of Spanish doctor Marina Bellon, who survived the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami. Nami. The tragedy happened when she was on vacation in Thailand with her husband and their three sons. Maria got severely injured and nearly passed, but fortunately survived. While the movie's central is an English family, the Bennets, who are actually Spanish in real life. Survivors of the disaster praised them possible for being so accurate and capturing the severity of what happened there. Screenwriter Sergio G. Sanchez worked closely with Maria to make sure that her story was told with the authenticity and respect it deserved, despite these notable changes. And I highly recommend this movie if you ever get a chance to watch it. Now at number 9, Poltergeist. In Producer Steven Spielberg's Poltergeist, directed by Toby Hopper, a PG rated film that was so scary it helped create the PG rating in the first place. The Freeling family discovers the suburban home is built on a haunted burial ground and is now plagued by its violent spirits. While this movie takes place in California, the haunting that supposedly inspired its story originated in New York State. In 1958, in the town of Seaford, the Herman family claimed to be the victims of paranormal activities. They allegedly saw bottle tops pop off on their own, along with those bottles seemingly moved by an invisible hand. The claims went viral and dominated local and national news cycles, to the point where Life magazine did a piece on it. Like the Freelings, the Hermans also invited paranormal specialists into their suburban home to deal with what the supposed experts claimed to be a legit poltergeist. While these researchers were able to record some evidence of strange events, the occurrences stopped shortly after the team arrived. Number 8. Open Water Open Water created many shocking headlines, and a mini controversy when it arrived in theaters in the wake of a based on real events marketing campaign. The low budget film, which featured a young couple in an ocean teeming with sharks, was famous famous for its use of real sharks to add a more real life look and home video aesthetic. The sharks used in the filming of Open Water were as real as those that threatened the film's source material. American tourist Tom and Eileen Lonerang. They were in fact left behind on a scuba diving trip off the Great Barrier Reef. It took two days for the scuba diving company to even realize that the couple did not return with everyone else. And the couple, like their big screen counterparts, were never found. Number 7. The Strangers Directed by Brian Bertino, The Strangers is a lean and mean piece of horror that three masked strangers who terrorize an estranged couple, played by Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman, simply because they happen to be home. The group determines that the couple is around when one of the members knocks on their door and asks, is Tamara home? That's all the invitation these invaders need to begin their horrific and messed up game of cat and mouse. Chillingly, this actually happened to Bertino when he was a child. Someone knocked on his front door asking for someone who didn't live there. He later learned there was a series of break-ins in his neighborhood around the same time. The robbers would target houses where no one answered the door. He also said that the film was inspired by the Manson family murders. While Bertino has never confirmed this theory, many viewers also speculate that the film is based on the Ketty murders, an unsolved homicide in which a family of three and a friend were brutally stabbed and beaten until they passed away in their cabin in Ketty, California. Number 6. 127 Hours The protagonist of 127 Hours is Aaron Ralston, who's best known for surviving a canyoning accident by cutting off his own arm with a pocket knife. He initially got his arm trapped between a boulder and the side of a canyon wall after an unlucky fall. After five days of being trapped, he managed to amputate his limb to get free and find rescue. He later wrote about this experience in his book that is fittingly named Between a Rock and a Hard Place. Ralston stated that most of the film is so fracturally accurate that it is as close to a documentary as you can get and still be a drama. And this movie stars James Franco, where he plays the main character amazingly. Halfway number 5, The Amityville Horror Stuart Rosenberg's 1979 film, The Amityville Horror, is based on the 28-day haunting of the Lutz family. In both real life and the film, the previous owners of the Lutz's new home were executed in their beds by their son, Ronald, two years before the Lutz clan moved in. When Kathy Lutz brought in a priest to bless the home, he heard a voice loudly declare, get out. The events became progressively worse, and the family smelled foul odors and observed other bizarre activities. The Lutz family claims the actual events were too horrifying to discuss. The infamous Ed and Lorraine Warren, who also make a few other appearances on this list, were even involved in the investigation, making claims that the whole thing was fake. The Amityville Horror is still, however, thought to be a hoax due to lack of evidence, but Rosenberg didn't care about that. Regardless of what is true, it's one scary concept. The film did take some liberties, however, having George become completely possessed and pushing him to the brink of committing horrible acts similar to Ronald's. Number 4. Jeepers Creepers Jeepers Creepers has a complimented and upsetting history. The plot of a supernatural horror movie is based on a real-life murder mystery that was featured on an episode of the true crime show Unsolved Mysteries. On Easter Sunday, April 15, 1999, siblings Ray and Marie Thornton went on a drive as they often did to pass the time. 
they noticed an aggressive man driving a truck with a particular license plate. They saw the same truck a few miles later at a church and noticed the driver looked like he was disposing of a body wrapped in a bloody sheet. The siblings called the police and it turned out that they were right. The driver was Dennis Depew and he was getting rid of the body of his wife of 18 years, Marilyn Depew. Dennis then passed away by taking his own life while trying to be apprehended by police. While it may not have much to do with the plot of the movie, there's also the disturbing fact that the director of Jeepers Creepers is a convicted person that often hurts children. What's even worse is that the boy he was convicted of preying on was a child actor from his first film, Clown House. Number 3, Apartment 407. Based on a true story that happened in London, England back in 2005, Apartment 407 is the harrowing true story about Isabel, a fitness instructor living with her husband and young child who one day meets a seemingly charming man named Peter at a local restaurant who invites her to a modeling job interview. Against her better judgment, Isabel goes to the location of an apartment building in downtown LA and before long she is abducted, drugged and held captive in a room by Peter and his unseen associates who sell her as an intimacy slave of various high paying clients. For three days and two nights, Isabel endures physical and mental torture in the forms of assault, drugs and other humiliations before she conjures up a plan to escape in order to save her own life. The story is about Frida Farrell who plays Isabel in the movie. If that doesn't make sense, I'll explain it to you. This horrible situation happened to Frida who decided that she wanted to share her story in the form of a movie, but instead of hiring an actress to play her in the situation, she just decided to do it herself. She had this torturous thing happen to her and then reenacted all of it for the movie. If she isn't Superwoman, I don't know who is. At the end of the movie, it showed her escaping, but when police went to arrest the man who held her, he was gone, and to this day, he is yet to be found. Number 2, 13 Lives Ron Howard's 13 Lives is now streaming on Amazon Prime Video. It is a tale almost too extraordinary to be true, but it is a very accurate dramatization of the Thom Long Cave rescue in Thailand in 2018. In total, there were 12 boys aged 11 to 16 and the team's assistant coach exploring the cave before bad weather conditions caused the cave to flood and blocked their way out. They became trapped and after a parent of one of the boys reported that he had not come home, a rescue operation was organized. The rescue gripped the world and saw a team of almost 10,000 volunteers from 17 different countries to help out. The acting talents of the movie have been stressed to the difficulties of making this film. It is an important story to tell though and the final product is as gripping as it is heartfelt. There was a great cause for concern when the boys clothes, shoes and bikes were discovered just outside the cave's entrance with no sign of them. Over the first couple of days, Thai Navy SEAL divers were called in. More flooding blocked vital areas and water pumps were used to pump out gallons of water. I haven't seen this movie but after watching the trailer it looks terrifying and I might just have to watch it. Now coming in at number one, The Conjuring. The true story of The Conjuring is actually rooted in a horrifying true experience of Ed and Lorraine Warren. The true story of The Conjuring begins with the first film which focuses on the Perrin family. In January 1971, the Perrin family moved into a 14 room farmhouse in Harrisville, Rhode Island, where Carolyn, Roger and their five daughters began to notice strange things happening almost immediately after they moved in. It started small. Carolyn would notice that the broom went missing or seemed to move from place to place on its own. She would hear the sound of something scraping against the kettle in the kitchen when no one was in there. The girls began to notice spirits around the house. Though for the most part they were harmless, there were a few however that were angry. Carolyn allegedly researched the history of the home and found out that it had been the same family for eight generations and that many of them had passed away under horrible circumstances. Several of the children had drowned in a nearby creek, one was executed, and few of them hanged themselves in the attic. The spirit that was depicted in the film Bathsheba was said to be the worst of them all. She was rumored to have been a Satanist and there was evidence that she had been involved in the passing of a neighbor's child and so much worse. And I could stand here all day and talk about the story of The Conjuring, but we don't really have time for that today. But that was the top 10 scariest movies based on a true story. Let us know what you thought about this video in the comments below, and we will see you next time.